Welcome to Mount Rainier National Park. Covering almost 370 square miles, the park is home to not only iconic Mount Rainier, but thousands of acres of pristine wilderness made up of everything from subalpine meadows and old growth forests to glacier carved valleys and a volcanic peak. Whether you have a day or all summer to explore, every corner of the park has something amazing to discover. We begin our exploration in the northwest corner of the park, home to the Carbon River and Mowich Lake. Carbon River is one of the best areas in the park to see the dynamic effects of water in shaping Mount Rainier. From the Carbon Glacier, the longest, deepest, and lowest elevation glacier in the park, to the Carbon River itself, Water is a powerful sculpting force that continually changes this landscape. As one of the rainiest places in the park, the Carbon River area is home to a temperate rainforest. Learn about the plants and animals of this rainforest by following the easy, self-guided rainforest nature trail that begins near the Carbon River entrance. In 2006, a massive flood damaged much of the historic Carbon River Road. Now the road is closed to vehicles, but is open for bike riding and hiking. Pristine Mowich Lake, located not far from Carbon River, is open from July to October. A starting point for several popular hiking trails, Mowich Lake also has a backcountry campground. The Nisqually entrance is located in the southwest corner of the park and serves as the historic gateway to the Longmire and Paradise areas of the park. West Side Road, a popular access point for hiking, branches off the main road not far from the entrance. Like the Carbon River Road, West Side Road has been shaped many times by flooding and debris flows. Evidence of these dynamic processes can be seen clearly along the road. As you continue the drive up to Longmire, pause at Couts Creek for one of the first views of the mountain visible in the park along this road. Or a little farther, walk the short Twin Furs Loop Trail for an introduction to the park's old growth forest. Longmire was the first settlement in the park and is preserved as a National Historic Landmark District. The story of the park's early history can still be found along the Trail of the Shadows and the historic walking tour through Longmire. Volcanic mineral springs that supported the early Longmire settlement still bubble in the Longmire Meadow. The road itself from the Squally entrance up to Paradise is also part of the historic landmark district. Designed specifically to provide the best experience for visitors, the winding road dramatically reveals the mountain in its terrain, from glacier-carved valleys and lava ridges to waterfalls and old-growth forest. Favorite stops between Longmire and Paradise include Christine and Narada Falls, or you can camp at Cougar Rock Campground. Many trails can be accessed from the road, with options to hike along glacial rivers and lava ridges, or to explore subalpine meadows. Paradise, well deserving of its name, is the most popular destination in the park. Home to the Paradise Inn and Jackson Visitor Center, this area has many amenities for the first time visitor. In winter, the area remains open for snowshoeing, sledding, and other winter activities. In summer and fall, hike through subalpine meadows thick with wildflowers or fall foliage. As you leave Paradise, enjoy a drive down the Paradise Valley Road, a favorite route for viewing spring wildflowers or fall colors. Keep an eye out for birds, marmots, deer, bears, and other wildlife enjoying the valley. Waterfall, but still 
Don't forget to stop at some of the pullout. Or make a day of it and hike one of the many trails along Stevens Canyon. Explore subalpine lakes such as Bent, Snow Lakes, and Blue Lakes. Hike the Pinnacle Peak Trail to the Tatooch Mountain. Or follow part of the 93 mile Wonderland Trail. Pacific Crest Trail, which crosses through the east side of the park. At Chinook Pass, walk across the historic Entrance Arch Walking Bridge, or enjoy the lush wildflower displays that fill the subalpine meadows ringing Tipsu Lake. provides access to some of the park's east side trails, such as Summerland and Waihai Lakes. My favorite hike is the Emmons Rain Trail, offering amazing views of the Emmons Glacier in the Great The road from White River up to Sunrise is a journey through the geological history of Mount Rainier. Starting in the White River Valley, carved by ice age glaciers and shaped by volcanic mudflows, Sunrise Road climbs past layers of lava and ash from past eruptions to reach the lava ridge upon which Sunrise is built. Sunrise Point features 360 degree views of not only Mount Rainier but the surrounding Cascade Mountains. On clear days, you can see the volcanic peaks of Mount Adams and Mount Baker in the distance. Combined with the amazing views of the Emmons Glacier and Mount Rainier, Sunrise is another popular summer destination. The Sunrise area is open from July to September. Located on the drier east side of Mount Rainier, subalpine meadows around Sunrise have a different character in areas that receive more rainfall, like paradise. Hiking opportunities abound. Trails lead through subalpine meadows and along volcanic ridges.
Will you hike to a waterfall or relax next to a subalpine lake? Or will you stay for a while to enjoy the view? Plan your visit to Mount Rainier National Park by visiting the park website.